All right, problem number four, you're supposed to express these three uh, in exponential form. Well, this turns into one. This is two, even though we don't see it. We, when we say the square root of two, we mean our index is two. This turns into x to the one half power. Here, my exponent is one, my root is three. This becomes a to the one third power. Here I have negative 32, the square root of negative 32. So this could have a 1 in front of that. So this becomes negative 32 to the 1 fifth power. Now I could uh, change this negative 32. Um, this is uh, negative 2 to the fifth, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's negative 32. So we could also write this one as negative 2 to the fifth, which is equal to negative 2 to the 5 over 5, which is just plain negative 2. So that would be for problem number four. Problem number five. Here, A. Here you have 27 to the two-thirds power. Okay. That is equal. We're going to change 27 into 3 cubed. Because we know 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So we go 3 cubed raised to the two-thirds power. Using our power of products rule now, we go 3. This becomes 3 times 2 thirds, which is going to be 3 squared, which is 9. That's A. Here comes B. B, I have 4 to the 3 halves. 4 to the 3 halves, which is the same as 2 squared to the 3 halves which is equal to 2, 2 times 3 halves, uh, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so this is 2 cubed, which is 8. Number C, we have 32 to the 4 fifths, 32 to the 4 fifths, this is the same as 2 to the 5th, to the four fifths, which is equal to two to the twenty over five, which is equal to two to the fourth, which is equal to sixteen. Uh, D. On D here, I make it a 32 to the 3 fifths. I think that's 2 to the 5th, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So this is equal to negative 2 to the 5th to the 3 fifths which is equal to negative 2 to the 15 fifths, which is equal to negative 2 cubed, which is negative 8.